All right, I'm going to give you a quick run through on how I designed this particular aquaponics slash hydroponics system. So I'm going to turn off everything so you can hear what I am saying. Let's go ahead and go out to the fish tank real quick so I can show you what I have going on over here. You heard the beeping over there. I actually have a backup UPS and that keeps the uh, air pump pumping in here just because in case there's a power outage I don't want my tilapia to die that would suck. My tilapia are getting quite big. I have a one inch tubing that uh, goes out to the squirrel tank. The one inch coming in and I also have slots right there on this and basically it's a it's a two-way it goes out to the grow beds and it also goes to the fish tank. One inch piping is just way too small so I just ordered some two inch uniseals that I'm going to replace this one here and this one here with um, two inch pipe and the difference between a one inch pipe and a two inch pipe is really huge so with the 1200 gallon pump that i have that pumps into here it's just so massive i mean there's just so much water flow that i, I really can't control it with one inch pipes so i'm going to be changing that out Anyways, this is a standard squirrel tank that everybody has seen before. The pipe just, you know, comes up from the bottom and it goes to the bottom here and it swirls around the clean water that doesn't have solids. So it goes into the sump tank. This right here is an overflow just in case there's an overflow of water. Maybe it's raining and I got a bunch of water coming through here. I don't want it to all overflow the side. I want it to maintain in here and also go into my sump. Here's my duckweed pond. It's going really great. Uh, I originally had about that much duckweed that my friend gave me and it is just really grown uh, amazingly. Um, I have a couple of fish tanks over here that I'm going to be using to breed my tilapia in. And of course, well, you know, a little bit more duckweed. All right, into the system. I have two grow beds. And these are two um, bottoms of IBC containers. So I actually have three um, IBC containers right here. Uh, these are the uh, bottom halves of the three IBC containers. Uh, this is the top part for my duckweed. And then I have another top over there that I'm using for my composter, which is working quite well. I'll talk about that later. Uh, these grow beds use a regular bell siphon, as you've probably seen before. I have the 1200 gallon pump there that comes up here. This is a relief valve here that I really need because there's so much water involved. I got a bunch of goldfish in my sump tank that keep this nice and clean. And I actually one tilapia slid down uh, one of my pipes in here that I, well, you can tell by the way this is, you know, there's holes in here. I, I've, I've done many different designs. And one of them um, was a direct line from the fish tank to the sump or an overflow and well one of them came in here where is he he's in here someplace and he's getting actually bigger than the goldfish so i have two grow beds this is another bell siphon right here um, the grow beds are doing great i just took out a whole bunch of things because they're just so massively full of uh, plants this is a four inch pvc container right here that um, I drilled in three inch holes and these are just regular cups that have holes on the bottom so the water um, goes in here. I have a little pump that pumps into here. It drains down here and it keeps about half the pipe full and then the remainder come down through here. I put a a little uh, elbow right there so it maintains that level for me and then it just drains back into the sump tank i'm going to use this big fish tank right here because it has a small leak as a solar as a hot water as a solar hot water heater for my system during the winter time so i'm going to take this pipe right here this big four inch and I'm gonna have it um, I'm gonna paint it black I'm gonna turn this upside down on top of the stand and plumb it so where so water comes in circulates between those two tubes collecting all the heat it can and going back into my grow beds fish tanks 
and uh, swirl to keep everything nice and warm during the summer anyway so that's what i got going on i'll replace my tubing over here my plumbing with two inch tubing here in the next week and i'll show you how that works have a great day and i hope that you are having fun with your aquaponic system um i'll actually show you my original aquaponic system was on this table here using this so that was my actual grow bed and then i had a little bucket this one right here is holding a bunch of my stuff that's where my goldfish were originally and that's how i started my aquaponic system and then i got this greenhouse which is a big pop-up one that you can get for like 89 dollars on amazon so it'll be all in, in uh, closed during the winter time i'll be able to maintain the heat and i'm going to put some sort of little greenhouse over this during the winter time Anyways, I'm at six minutes, and I don't want to waste your time anymore. But that's my system. Have a great day, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll show you what I have going on here uh, probably in a couple more weeks.